learn how to get your first 1000 YouTube subscribers. Join our Patreon page now. Link in the description. And we are live! Hey, hi everyone! Welcome again, another episode of the Puppet Podcast. Yeah, we will touch our 50 episode pretty soon, so that's really amazing. So thank you everyone for tuning in and just like enjoying how we make this puppetry world all together in this weird moment of confinement. But yeah, tonight we have someone from Mexico, Costa Rica, and I'm really happy to connect with all of those. It's kind of like it's a, we were saying just before the interview, it's so small, like one person make a post, so we discover each other, and it's really amazing. So everyone, plenty of good stuff happening for the Puppet Podcast. Oh my god, I, I have so much in, in the throw. I'm kind of like, we, we have our workshop going and we have one at the beginning of August. It's on the planning. So you will know this week what it will be about. And yeah, it will be amazing. So have a look also to the Patreon account and the YouTube and everything. And please write from where you are, where you're watching in the chat. It's always a pleasure to see. So yeah, let's go for the interview. So tonight, I have this wonderful Edwin Salas. Yahoo! Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? Good, good. To, to, to enjoy this historical moment of life. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's an historical moment. So we can connect towards the history. <laughs> of course, yes. Yeah, so Edwin, you are a dancer, a puppeteer, you direct, you do workshop. Could you like do a little, like a resume of you and your path toward puppetry? Yes, of course. Well, uh, technically, historically behind, like uh, 20 years ago in Italy, together with Maria Teresa Trentin, is part of, of the company called Brucheria de Appel, Witchcraft of Paper. And I began to make a uh, like a table popper, marionette. It's a really mixed folk, Mexican, weird, surrealistic performance. And after, in some moment, I decided to take other, other way, like in 2010, and behind to, to say, well, you know, I need to move with my puppets. I destroyed the puppet stage, no table, no nothing. I decided to learn on my 36 years old dance. Whoa. I began to teach, I began to learn ballet, contemporary dance, some Buddha dance. And I began to take this because I want to learn how to move my body for how to move the puppets. Mm. And after the puppets in the Buddha, for example, they are the perfect Buddha dancers. They teach me how to move me. And was like this, I make a, like a big mix of these kind of things. I began to enter a lot in the dance, a lot. To, to take the puppets, no, well, not only for the kids, for the adults, more for the adults now in this moment. And after little by little, I go out on my way in the good sense and take more a political puppet art for me. And now I think is the principle to, to make political puppet art, but too, to, I love to teach and make the workshop and now with this new historical moment of our life, now I began to make uh, a teaching Sunday by Sunday in a stream. Yeah. yeah. It's like a little resume of, 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 of these last 20 years. That's so cool that you can share your knowledge with like all of that, uh, like step by step, like the dance. And that's so cool. Yes, that's. That's that's great. It's a big opportunity, you know. It's we talked before before this interview before to go live. It's it's so easy in this historical moment with no have audience. Uh, one moment, is this is half like this? No, we don't have audience. We don't have like uh, that normal audience we have in the presence, you know. Now now in this moment we have biggest audience. Yeah, and all the world. For example, you make some weeks ago, I interviewed in Colombia. 
Yes. You can yes. imagine you go to Colombia to make the interview, to pay our ticket. Yes, it could be crazy. But now with all these kind of things, yes, it's, it's, it's a, my grandma always say, in the bad moments, you need to have a good makeup. <laughs> and now the situation of the virtuality is a beautiful makeup. Yeah, that's so a good image. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and it's really cool to connect. That's true. And that's the way of seeing like positivity towards the new parameter that we are in. Of course. Of yeah. Course. So let's jump towards my proper question i always ask the same but you have yes, so please. much juice around it and and yeah i want to say just hi to Worley santana who watched the show yeah so, hi yeah. Worley. <laughs> yes that's so cool and he will be a guest in few few weeks so that's cool uh, so let's start first question is always i want to know how your your like what makes the art of puppetry an art that you cherish or cherish? Can you repeat the question? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and say, why do you cherish the art of puppetry? Oh, yes. Well, you know, I think, uh, I don't know if I chose the puppetry for to show my art. Oh, yeah. I think, I think was the puppet to, to take me and say, now you are our slave, <laughs> and now you need to take us and to go for all the world to share what we need to do, to say. But the most important, I think I love so much the puppets because the puppets, they always are the characters we want to, they are. And this is, is a really important, it's for me to share the, Puppetry is more honest. It's mm -hmm. more honest, like at the real theater, like yeah. at the real, you know, real dance with the puppets. For example, I told you about the Buddha dance. Mm -hmm. A puppet really can take off completely empty the soul and be a real a stone, to be a real animal, to real a magic spirit. For example, you actor, you can cut the head in on the stage because it's illegal. I don't know in Canada or in, in France, <laughs> but here is a little legal in the United States. You cut the head of the actor, you know. But the puppet, yes, you can do it. <laughs> and yes, I know. It's I think the puppets are not only magic, I think it's a cliche word, but I think with the puppets you really can make anything. Yeah. A lot of freedom. Yes, yes, it's a lot of freedom. That's so cool. My next question is about your crush. I always want to go in the past and say how, like when your crush for puppetry happened. Do you have a specific moment? You were talking about like this, like the puppet. I, I, have, I have a really specific moment. And, and this is specific moment, what I mean, for one reason, I began to be a puppeteer. Okay. Yes, because I told you before, I began 20 years ago, but mm -hmm. no, it was not real, I lie you. <laughs> I began 11 years old. Yeah. And you know for what reason I began 11 years old? Because I lying other person. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I have, I have 11 years old, I live in Costa Rica. I live in the really poor, poor neighbor. And the rich neighbor was uh, have a division of the river. Before to cross the bridge, uh, one woman in the bus, in the public bus, asked me, oh, what are your age? I would say, oh, I have 11 years old. Oh, nice. You know, my niece have 11 years old like you. Oh, thank you, man. You're like a creepy. <laughs> OK, uh, OK. I want to, to make an amazing party for my niece. Oh, you know, what do you prefer to have in your party? Clowns or puppets? Oh man, you know, I never watch it a real performance of with puppetry, but I always I dream because I watch, you know, I watch the the Muppets and dream to be I invite for Jim Henson 
like a puppeteer. Oh wow! Or to say, just going to say, just say yes. I mean, like this. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Puppets, puppets. <laughs> and for one reason, oh man, so simple. Because in all the all the Paris, the uh, birthday Paris, I went always, always is a clown, first big liar, because we live in the really poor neighbor, really, really poor neighbor. When sometimes we don't have for to for to make the breakfast, we don't have food really, uh -huh. really, and yeah. never we have money for to for to hide in a clown for a party you can imagine we say yes puppet man puppets but i'm so really excited for this kid like my age to bring up a, a puppet performance i don't know for what reason i give my the phone number of my house <laughs> and this was a big problem Okay. Say, oh my gosh, when this woman called because I am orphan, because this woman called me and my grandma said me for what reason this woman called you? Because I promised to I have a contact with the puppeteer. Oh, but this is a liar, I need to punish you. But I don't want to punish me. And this I found I go to the trash because I search a lot in the trash. I found a Kermit. <gasps> Real. I found a Kirby in the trash. I repair the queer meat. I make a puppet to say to my grandma, oh, it's for the school. Second liar is not for the school. <laughs> the, the woman called me and say, oh, you remember me? Yes, <laughs> well, ma'am, I remember you all the night. Okay, you can tell the puppeteer you can come on Sunday at the five o'clock. Yeah, don't worry, the, the puppeteer arrived. Bye-bye. <laughs> they come. In this moment, what did you do when you make this kind of big liar? Uh, <laughs> make the big lion more bigger. <laughs> simple. I make my my puppet stage with a cardboard. I make a rehearsal. I make my performance shots. I put like an old, like a, you know, the four centuries ago, the puppeteers took half the puppet stage on the back. Yes. yes, something like that. Like this, I cross the, the bridge, arrive at the rich neighbor. I knock the door of the of the, of the woman. And say, I'm here. Um, and the puppeteer, oh, you know, because when the puppeteer going to important festival outside the country, he sent me in the private performance like your performance. <laughs> okay. Coming. I don't know for what reason that woman, you know, poor kid need a little money for to eat. I don't know. Well, I make my performance. <laughs> Glove puppets finish the performance. It's a ripe other woman. Say, Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Your performance, you have business card. Oh no, lady, you know, in the last party, I finish all my business card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an amazing story. I think that's one of my favorite. It's so much interesting. I behind like that. I remind, you know, one day, so a lot of years ago, I bring my grandma to Italy and she watched me to make a performance. In one summer, one moment, she told me, she told me, sorry, for what reason you go to study in the college? If you be, you continue to make the puppet from the 11 years old, now you could be rich. I don't know for what reason you to stop to make puppet because I behind to go in the private Private parties, I began to bring real money. And with this money, we eat better. For yeah. this reason, my, my grandma always have a big love for the puppets because the puppets bring food at the house. Wow. That's so cool. It's kind of a crush, but at the same time, it's like the necessity of it. Yes, and all of yes. it's like a joy of like creating something and get like a problem solved. You know, in, in Latin America, I think in in all the countries were more in like a tier war because I, here in the United States, I found tier war too. Uh, when the people need to make something, they found the form how to do with yeah. anything, yeah. with trash, with anything. I know some puppeteers to load the puppets, all the puppets and go in the trash and make the performance again. I don't mm -hmm. have likes. I search to make the likes with anything, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that's so cool and and so it's funny it's, to ask you the next question because it's about like the the um, the, the way of we go towards puppetry i always la ask in your opinion what would be the best field of study to become a puppeteer so for you it, i want your answer and your opinion on this well it's so easy is you know like in this moment to be youtuber <laughs> to go is to go in head like this at the empty i don't have fear mm. you know for what reason because a old puppeteer in italy one day told me this big thing he called walter brigini maybe you know he teach him charlie bill oh yeah so, okay yes walter brigini told me you know thanks god we are not doctor we learn surgery if we make a mistake on the stage nobody die <laughs> i think is the best the best advice i can give and any person make puppets and that's all after when you begin to make puppet you make your first performance could be to have a lot of mistakes mistakes could be to have uh, not a really good puppets maybe that the technology of the puppetry maybe no is the best but the first performance is the most honest mm. After, when you begin to pass 20 years, you begin to watch a lot of details. And maybe, yes, you can make amazing performance with a good technology, with a good dramaturgy, uh, amazing lights, amazing all. But maybe the honesty is near 10%. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, you can ask me how, after 20 years of professional work, we can continue with the honesty. Yeah. To continue to take risk. Yes. Big risk, not little. To to say, I need to go out on my comfortable place. For example, is the big thing. You the the puppetry is always for kids. You know, go. You make a performance only for adults, hmm. and not only for adults to talk about the sexist situation or vulgar situation no something the adults only with the puppetry can hear you good mm. talk the my first performance for adult is talk about the relation between alice Lidl and legis carol a mm. situation of pedophilia situation mm. a deep deep subject like this yeah i don't have uh, i don't have fear yeah. No have fear. For 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 me. Yeah. It's the best form. It's kind of a philosophical mindset, like a to to become more than a, a, a path of study, you will say it's more like recommendation that you bring to the table. Yes, you know, it's like I behind with the table puppets, with the shrink puppets to make like a so classic puppetry. And I love the classic puppetry, please. It's mm -hmm. not a critic attention but after say well now i want to destroy the table no stage empty stage like at a poor poor theater no mm -hmm. i don't invite this it's, it's a lot of people to make something like that yes please i don't have nothing now it's outside my comfortable zone i don't have puppet stay i don't have nothing i have nothing to protect me mm -hmm. i'm naked and after i go completely naked to make puppetry and after I decided to introduce the Bhutto, but after that, in one of my performance in the Maya genocide, I decided not only to make dance puppetry, I make a research about the genocide in Guatemala to go to hear the trails, to go so really inside in the trails to hear at uh, the moms, to at uh, the grandmas to kill, to tell me how the, the army killed the sons in this, I make oh. a performance about this, but not only this, a lot the last, I make a performance piece of art. In the same performance art, I eat a puppet made with meat. And this oh. man was the genocide. I can't. Yeah, if you have image you want to bring in 
to the screen because it's kind of trash but i think puppet could take those kind of like edgy trash subject like about humanity i say trash about like the 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 evilness into the the, the human soul so it's kind of like how to to talk about that and maybe bring a, a catharsis to the audience and just like yeah this this happening yes one moment i tried to to chill just a little yeah so we have a yes. obs pro here <laughs> <laughs> well yes it's yes it's only little for to to see and that's for example to talk about the risk uh -huh. I am in, I'm in United States in this moment before I live in Italy after in Mexico now in United States what is the most big risk for an immigrant to make a big critic about the place you live yes this I talk about how United States with the money of the taxes of the people from America make the most terrible genocide in Latin America yeah and talk about how the, the some people kill the brotherhoods in the border. And this is seven deadly sins. Mm -hmm. But I make the critic to the Mexicans, you know? And some Mexicans are more racist than the same Americans against the, again, the, the, the Mexicans. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and this is, you know, is the, is the form for to talk about the risk, always, always. Yeah. It's kind of to 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 t decide to take a deep subject. Also, it's kind of it's part of the decision and the commitment of the puppeteer. I really appreciate this this answer. I want to go for the next one, but maybe you can leave some video if you want. It's kind of interesting to have visual during the interview. Yes. Well, uh, please, please. Yeah. The the next question is what would be your own definition of a puppet my definition of puppet yeah, yeah. it's kind of sometimes we have to explain it to children or adults and and i always like to hear the personal definition of the puppet here. my definition of, of a puppet i think coming from the, my first part of puppeteer not with a was a chill child more when it's Oh, one moment. In this moment, you can watch a video. I show a puppet of the Ku Klux Klan member. Oh. And this Ku Klux Klan member have the symbol of the specific area here in North Carolina. Wow. And this Ku Klux Klan member killed the, the Mexican. And after the, this is Sicario killed the Ku Klux Klan member with a machete. This is so wow. specific, my, my performance. Yeah. Well, a lot of symbols, really yes, strong yes. symbols. I, you know, I, I know here to to talk about these kind of things for me, it could be a little dangerous, but mm -hmm. it's part of life. But, <laughs> life is dangerous. Yes. yes. Dangerous. Well, I talk about the concept for the go, don't go, don't talk tomorrow, don't take your time. Well, the puppet for me is a piece of witchcraft. Uh -huh. It's a uh -huh. really, really piece of the. Sorry. Yeah. It's a really piece of witchcraft in the things you in the piece of wood, piece of foam, piece of whatever you want, you can give life. Uh -huh. As something you give life, and after you have the power to these things that people believe this is alive, and after you can live to die and put in the baggage again. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's witchcraft. Yes. That's For this reason, in the uh, middle century, in the middle century, was banned the puppetry. That's true. Because they have reason. It's witchcraft. <laughs> it's the yeah. moment, you know, it's when you have a puppet and you say, oh, it's alive. No, it's not alive. It's little pieces of wood together. Yeah. You know? I can tell you something, a little history about in Napoli was a puppet. And this a puppet was a monk, a terrible monk. And you know, it was the soap opera in, in, in Napoli, Naples. Uh, in some moment, everybody hate this monk. Everybody hate this monk. In some moment, one man of the audience take a knife, I stab in the puppet. 
and they say stop and all the audience take the puppet and take it to the sea and they say stop and the puppeteers only make like that <laughs> and the puppet said yes is is dying the the monk for the fury of the audience <laughs> just and this is like that it's only can happen with the puppets yeah you know? Kind of, we can get angry towards the object. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's a good answer. And I want to know if you feel that puppetry art is in an ascension, like right now, or is getting less popular. And and this, despite maybe the the confinement or whatever your answer, but do you feel the ascension of the art? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You know. Uh, you can watch in the history of the puppetry well in the first like uh, two centuries ago was more the tradition and after we have all the tradition and we transform in the 70s you know the first little performance and after we have all this tradition to transform because the new tradition you know but after that now we have you know the puppets to our a really youtubers yeah and that's amazing and it's not only like a muppet show it's more than like that you know mm -hmm. and after you can watch is that the young people is interested to touch other things with the puppetry mm. for example when i have the opportunity i i can watch there to to my students of the of uh, the Neil Tier Center, Jesse Candina, say I say hi. Yeah. Say hi, other people, Ricardo Rodolfo Rodolfo is from Guatemala. Well, and they are interested how with the video we can make a political piece art. For these things is is always to be better the puppetry. Yeah. It's it's helpful. The yes, online. and now and now you can tell me, well, you, you tell me like a little fear to say, well, this in this moment, you know, the puppetry, no, we don't have, we have, and the bad and the good, the big opportunity to make your, your performance, multimedia performance. Yeah. We use the technology, for example, in this mo moment, I, in, at the morning, I had uh, a conversation because I make the direction from here in the United States, a political performance art in Colombia. Wow. And this performance talk about the civil war, the most longest civil war in, in the history in Colombia. I talk about the, some massacres in Colombia and we make together Zoom, multimedia and chat alive for to make the performance with puppetry and real actors. The wow. puppets are the people of the past, the actors are the people of the present, and we have a little animation for the people of the future because it's in, it's in the Zoom chat to happen something weird and enter the past with the future together. Wow, so interesting. I, I can see is, but if not happen the situation of the pandemic and return, to go out to the or comfortable place. Mm -hmm. Or comfortable place, what is it? Going to name? You know, I think your program was called like this mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. On tour, the interview tour. Yeah. But now you can't. Now, yeah. but now you have the possibility. You're in Canada, I mean in, in here in your stage, you make an interview, maybe in the future you make an interview, or you make uh, other people from Asia. Yeah, yeah, I made one. You need to go out to your comfortable place, and yeah. maybe we one day we can make a performance like this. Yes, yeah. an international. You mean like live performance with the social media or like the the platform that we use? That's so interesting, and totally, I get your ascension vision because those tools are kind of right there, and we we need to to, to keep grow towards there. This. Yes, I think it is. If I can say something to the audience, the most important, you continue to work. Yeah. Don't sit to say, well, if you sit to, to watch this podcast, it's okay. <laughs> but don't sit to watch a lot of things. You know, you can watch on Facebook. Please share me. I'm so boring. And share me other series on this. 
I don't <laughs> because I'm boring. Okay, yeah. take this feeling of boring, of no hope, of no future, and make a little piece of art. Say, for what reason I make a pop, a new puppet performance if I don't have more audience? Sorry, you have the world now. Yeah, that's so yes, of course. You're making YouTube a little video, maybe only watch your family, your friends. But maybe for mistake, one person for Japan watch your performance for one hashtag to say puppets. Mm. That's true. That's true. That's so real. And I want to know also if you feel that we reach the full potential or we have a lot to improve into the puppetry art. Well, I think uh, the people need to, to learn more about what a, what a, what a real the audience need to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, I think this moment of silence, because I can call it the pandemic, it's a moment of silence. We hear the audience hear you a lot of the years. 20 years, the people hear me to talk, to make the performance. And I have performance, I take a knife, I make like this, I need a puppet and, you know, I make a really crazy stuff. Maybe it's the time we hear the audience, what do you want to hear? Uh -huh. I think to take this and behind to produce other kind of puppetry. Wow. Yeah, that's a good advice. To listen, yeah. yes, great, that's so cool. And I want to know your biggest purpose as a puppeteer for the future. Do you have like something you you see for the future? Well, for, for the future, yes. For example, now for myself, I began to buy books of, of filming, uh -huh. I began to study for myself how to make movies with the puppetry, because now I watch this situation don't resolve in one month. In two months, this situation may be resolved in two years. And that's the situation, it's like that. But we need to continue to produce. Of course, the people say, well, how to make a movie, how to make something like that. I know have, I know, I know have money for to produce a movie. Well, during this moment, you watch this podcast, in the phone or in the laptop or in the computer. And now these have a uh, camera and these have a uh, little bit programs. You can make something. Hmm. Oh, but how I can take money of this? Well, in some places like in Mexico, we can to pay, make a virtual uh, festivals. I began to pay a little budget for the companies maybe we search we need to search together in each country you hear in this moment the podcast how the union is important in in all the kind of arts how the governments can give you a little money so if the government give a little money for the festival now can give you a little money for the little production mm -hmm. you know i think it, this is the could be the future you know when I say the future is this is internet you can hear 20 years ago nobody can imagine i'm in this moment we are two persons together to talk like this yes true you know what the future you talk with a little part if you watch that that they match the person no yes that's so true and i've with your company do you have a, a, a purpose like a goal you said like in 10 years i want to play this or movie i want to realize this kind of movie or present it towards uh all the world or I don't know well you know I love to make a really a really interactive movie ah. and really interactive movie understand how the technology is not to make only a movie with puppets because it's a lot of uh, uh, movies with puppets I think that one of the most important movie in the the last century was the strings yeah yeah, yeah this one really really important because no was only a movie to make with puppets because we don't have money for to to hide in all the art this is a, a movie made with puppets because they want to take the soul about the strings mm -hmm. but what happened if we can make something like that 
you know, like the new the new games, but make with the puppetry to go more more there than only to show a video. Because show the video, I can show the video like that. I know. Yeah. That. <laughs> or me, you know? This is yes. This, this is a little video, but yeah. how to go more there? Yeah. I began to make with this this, but how to create create a, a platform for example for me in this moment i began to study how to create a platform for to show videos two videos only the video multimedia videos and interactive videos and take money for the companies yeah the interaction you mean yes the chat or we you mean the chat and with the video yeah a zoom or yeah yes. like that. That's cool. I want for to example, see that. Excuse, excuse me. For example, in the in the performance I will do in Colombia with with the video, the people we chat, they chose the end. Oh, okay. To put it interactive like this. Yes, you know. Uh, well, I, you I think when I was kid, when I was kid, <laughs> I have a, this book to choose your adventure. You know, yeah. remember. Yes. If you want to turn in the couch and go to page train 32. <laughs> yeah, something like that, but with the puppetry. Yes. Wow. That's so cool. That's a nice like vision of, of the work. I like that. And I want to um to go forward with um your vision of puppetry in 10 years. Where do you see the puppetry art? In 10 years. Yes. Well, more of technology <clears throat> more of technology more of of the any situation i think to make uh just important arguments with the puppetry yeah really important really important but not only political stuff no you know in this moment for the situation to happen with your floyd in the some month ago here in your states not only to talk of blacks and black mothers you not talk about that uh domestic violence, to talk about the feelings, to talk about more these kind of things can destroy the society. How we can make better the society with the performance. And not in a, like a, a, a moral moral situation, you know? Mm. More to destroy, if no, I destroy my comfortable place and take off the video. Yeah. I destroy my comfortable place for make performance. Uh -huh. But now, how I can destroy your comfortable place like an audience for you watch outside with you, you need to yeah. change. Yeah, to, to make the improvement in the audience, you mean. Mm. That's interesting. That's kind of a... A hard challenge, but it's it's good to to challenge the the puppetry the puppeteer all around. Let's change our audience and make it grow in 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 bringing some like subjects, some of the of humanity and yeah, yes. that's so true. Of course, of course, with all the kinds of arts, you know, yeah. with the dance, with the theater, but for what reason with puppets, you know? Do the paiva. Some weeks yeah. ago, telling the same cup podcast, say puppetry like a terrorist act. Yeah. True. Yes. Yes. Something like that. You know, one time one uh journalist from Spain watched my performance and she told about my performance. To watch a performance of Edwin Salas is like Edwin Salas take a little surgery knife. Could you the sternum, put the hand inside, make you like this, leave you <laughs> open, and you return to the house like this? <laughs> That's a good image. I hear me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Duda and sir. Hi, Duda. Hi, <laughs> Duda. <laughs> yes. Yes, so we are the new terrorists. Up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. We get the reference from one podcast to another. That's amazing. And yeah, I want for the conclusion, you to maybe bring some puppet 
into the in front of the screen in front of the camera so we can yeah, I see got, more. I got a lady. Yeah, and everyone, if you have a question, by the way, you want to ask also, you, you have time, it's not the end. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, what is the future of the love between oh, humans yeah. and puppets? Yeah. She wants to know if it could be exist, a puppet can marry with a human, or human can marry with a puppet. <laughs> That's no, a it's a little sick. I can tell this. It's a little sick. No, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, the the terrorist act. <laughs> she she's so deep. Oh. <laughs> oh, you have something scary about her, also, like something like, as you said, the comfort zone. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. No, she uh, is talk a little bad. <laughs> yeah. No, don't touch, please. Don't touch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that's so cool. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for this amazing podcast for to permit uh, the puppeteers talk and we hear the puppeteers normally we hear the puppets but now we have opportunity with your amazing work to hear the puppet the puppeteers yeah, yeah. and yeah, this is important yeah. uh, to move to move the puppeteers like how i told you before to move to move don't it's easy to go in depression with this situation you know yes and and to bring it down from the intellectual because we think yeah. but also like what is the action so you bring a lot of concrete action that we could do to to make the the feel of puppetry grow and and go and expand towards dance and toward theater and and just conquer more uh, as a piece of art that we do yeah yeah thank you no, so it's a little news if somebody wants to know more of me it's yeah. edwinsalas.com you can watch yeah all right, right. Uh, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well yeah. and my instagram is edwin salas art um by the way if you can watch in my website i make a workshop in virtually and now in, now in this moment i make a workshop about how to use the 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 technology with the puppetry in this moment how to teach in zoom how to make a streaming how to make a live and just by the way thank you so much really yeah I really appreciate it. you're very very welcome and, and that's a pleasure and we will share all of those good good thing you bring to the the community and for sure people have a look to his website and and the video and and if you want to know more just ask uh, do you have a, an email people can write you a, a yes of course yeah well i <laughs> it's oh it's a little complicated <laughs> it's brujerias <laughs> those 2000 at yahoo.it yeah maybe we will write down below the the interview so we can yes we yes can write yes. it in the, it's, the it's more easy but by the way if you go in my website elinsalas.com in the part of contacts you can send me a uh, a message and always i respond i'm i'll be there yes thank you so much edwin stay stay there i will just conclude by myself yes. and we yes. will talk after that thank you very very much yay and everyone thank you very much to you to to tune in and to comment and just share this wonderful interview and yeah let's let's share the puppetry art and just discuss more and more about it so we have another podcast wednesday at seven in eastern time so stay tuned and it's with uh, a company from california i can't wait to hear what's happening in california right now but it's swazzle company so you can have a uh, Swazzle Inc. You just have a, a look on that. And yeah, and do it. Bye 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 again. <laughs> bye to everyone. And, and see you soon. Learn how to get your first 1,000 YouTube subscribers. 
join our Patreon page now. Link in the description.